Hello budget people and welcome to my channel. My name is She's on the Budget and today we are back for another video. In this video, I'll be doing my third cash stuff in for the month of August. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in watching, stay tuned. Okay guys, so welcome back to the channel. I do hope you are all well. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on yet another video. And if you're new to the channel, my name is She's on a Budget and over my channel, I discuss all things budgeting related. So if that sounds like your type of thing, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my latest videos. But guys, we are back for another cash envelope stuffing. It has been a busy, busy month. Things are crazy at the moment. I think I say that every week. Do I say that every week? I don't know, but it has been crazy. For those of you who are unaware, I have recently opened up another shop. So yes, we are on Etsy. We are on the website and you can also purchase my items now via TikTok shop. If you are interested in getting a deal, then hop over to there too because TikTok does offer me vouchers that I can pass on to you guys. I also go live in the shop Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. The times are not set yet. It has only been a couple of weeks and on there you can see me making and packing orders. You can ask me any of your questions that you may have. Fridays have turned out to be giveaway Friday but not only do you receive the discounts that TikTok gives you from purchasing from the shop, you will also be part of the giveaway and may end up walking away with free products. So yeah, do check it out if you can. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get into this week's video. First things first, as always, I come in and write my budget. So as I said, we are on week three. Um, the rollover that I'm passing on from week two was £2,414.63. I've been really good with that buffer, guys, seriously, especially after the last couple of weeks where I've been stressing out about the house situation. We're not going to talk about it, but um, I haven't touched it. And yeah, I'm really proud of that. But anyway, in terms of my income this week, we had an income of £1,036. 60 pence it has been very busy i don't know what's going on i think it may be because of tiktok as i've said previously why maybe a lot of people have been going to the website um but the website is kicking etsy's behind in terms of sales it was so busy this week on the website in terms of fixed expenses so my regular expenses that you know i leave the money in the bank for and council tax was 132 pounds this week and my tithe is 10 percent of my income so i put 104 pounds towards tithe so in total we have 236 pounds and then in terms of cash envelopes we have our regular so we've got 90 pounds going to groceries household isn't getting any because we still haven't spent any money oh guys i'll tell you about that in a minute anyway fuel is getting 20 electric is getting 40 and so is gas i'm also going to be putting some money towards my trackers in total i'm going to be putting 460 pounds so I can come in now and do a total for my cash envelopes, which is £650. And then in terms of sinking funds this week, we will be stuffing the majority of sinking funds again. So in total, I'll be putting £250 into my sinking funds. And now we can come down and put a breakdown. So in terms of income this week, we have £3,417.23. In terms of outgoings, I'm going to add the 236, add the 650, add the 250, which is 1136 so I'm going to take that away from my income. So we have the 3417.23 minus 1136. will leave us with £2,281.23. I have added a rollover section here because as you know, this will be going into my rollover. So I will roll this amount over into week four and technically I'm left with a zero based budget, guys. But yeah. 
that's my budget all done for week three. Okay guys, so I'm gonna come in now and I'm gonna stuff my weekly envelopes first of all. So for gas, I'm going to be adding 40. And that's going to go in here. Electricity is going to get the same. So I'm going to add 40 in there as well. And that's fine. So utilities are done. And then we move on to fuel. Fuel is going to get 20, guys. Um, I've been doing really well with fuel. Nothing really to say about it other than the fact that the numbers keep going up and down at the petrol station so trying to go to my regular place but um sometimes it's better to just go a little bit further um and find somewhere a little bit cheaper so that's done um household is next and as i said to you we still haven't gone to costco guys um but i did have to buy shower gel last week because we had totally run out from the bits that i'd bought we ran out of shower gel and toothpaste because i bought those in bulk last month um so i had to buy like a week's worth of both of those um but i am going to go this week so yes i will be using this money it's funny though because i think the reason why i haven't rushed out is i bought a large i can't remember what it was it must have been about 20 kilos of soap powder from there i bought a tub of aerial and i have to say guys it is amazing how much i still have left after having it for well going on like six weeks now like i haven't even made a dent in it so i think that's why it's only like shower gel and toothpaste that i've run out of everything else has kind of like kept going um so yeah i am definitely gonna rush back there and do the same but maybe only get a few bits this time anyway household is done groceries is next groceries is going to get 90 so we are going to be adding 80 and then a 10 for groceries and that can go in here and then personal is going to get 20 i'm going to add it to what we have left i did use this to actually buy um some makeup guys this week because i didn't have any left in my hair and beauty envelope um after getting my nails done got my nails done so i didn't have any left so i had to use this to get my um some makeup i didn't really need to get it but i did want to get it so i used some personal money um i had a little bit in here so i'm going to add 20 pounds to that and then eating out we did have a meal out this week which meant that all of the money went from this envelope so i'm going to start to top it back up again and add 20 pounds into there so that is all done so next is our essentials binder so i'm going to come in and stuff these Okay, so I'm gonna start with Nevaeh. I'm gonna take out what she has in here and I'm going to add five. We have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 75. So we've got 175 in here. We should be getting closer to the 180 mark by the end of the month for her. Jada is next. Jada is going to also get five. So we have, I can't count, 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 25 for Jada. So she has 125. Her birthday is next Feb. So we have a little bit of time for her. Tyrese is next. Tyrese is going to get five. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 85 in Tyrese. So that's done. And car maintenance is going to get 10. So we're gonna add 10 and we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. So we've got 280 for car maintenance. I'm laughing because I'm just remembering the amount of comments that people have given me now about washing my car using this money. Um, and I did have to explain to people that I kind of knew already that I should use this money, but guys it's the bane of my existence washing my car i feel like it's such a waste of money um please let me know 
if I'm the only one who feels this way, but I really do. But someone did point out that it does help with your paint work to keep up with maintaining the outside of your car, which is true, I suppose. I feel like the amount of money that I spend on that, I could go out for dinner. I could actually go out for a meal. It's so expensive. But anyway, we're not going to rent. Car maintenance is done. Car insurance is next. And we are going to be adding £15. This will be for our car insurance for next year. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65. So we have 465 now in car insurance. And this is for, as I said, January's premium and then health is next health is going to be getting five this week so we have 2045 for health and that is done and home insurance is going to get five So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 5, 10 for home insurance. And that's for January's premium. And then pet insurance is next. And pet insurance is also going to get five. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 5, 10. So we've got 110 pounds for pet insurance as well. And that is all done. Next is my non-essentials binder. So we are going to stuff the envelopes in here. So gifts is first. Gifts is going to get five. So we have 20, 40, 5, 50 in here for gifts, which is brilliant definitely adding up and then celebrations is going to get the same celebrations is going to get five so we have 20 45 50 in here too so that's all done and then clothes is next clothes is going to get a hundred pounds so I'm gonna take 20 40 60, 80, 100. This is for my back to school shop for Nevea. I don't need to go crazy with her because as you know, she only returned to full-time education in June. So I did obviously buy all of her stuff there. But as you know, guys, the shoes are not shoeing anymore because she chose to get a cheaper pair than the ones that I wanted her to get. So I am going to get her a pair of shoes with this and also buy her like a winter coat. So we currently have 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200 pounds in here. I think that should be okay. Um, if it isn't, then we will, you know, I may have to take something out of another envelope, but um, we'll see how we go. Hair and Beauty is going to get 50. Um, I did get my nails done, as I said. So I got my nails done at Georgie Porgie's this week. Um, but I did actually take out the whole £100 that I had in here. I took out all of it, guys. And um, my nails came to £60, but the £40 that was left over, I think I spent it. I don't... <laughs> I'm laughing because this is something I don't do like you know me already this is something that I don't do but I actually don't know where I, I might have given it to the children for something I can't remember what I did with it but I know I spent that 40 pounds so um I'm putting back 50 in here just because I have used it somewhere else I'm just like replacing it back in here and I'm putting an extra 10 pounds because I might get my hair done this month I'm not sure um it's not terrible but I don't know if I should wait till it does get terrible before I do it over. So, um, yeah, I might get my hair done this month. If not, I will get it done early next month. So, yes. And then we are moving on to my trackers. So, first tracker we have is car tax. Car tax, we are going to be adding five this week. We're being um, 
a bit lenient towards this one because I feel like we're nearly done. Like, I feel like this could be finished before Christmas, guys. What do you think? I mean, I don't need to really stop, keep adding it every week, but I'm just going to do it while I can. And as I said to you at the beginning of the year, things were a bit slow. Um, although I did continue to stuff then, but now that it's getting a bit busier, I'm going to just keep going. And if I finish it early, then I'll just put that money down for next year. Okay, so I'm going to add five to what we have in here already. So I'm going to add five. So we currently have 20, 40, 60, 80, 95 in here. So we've got 95 in here. We're trying to get to 160. So... And that's for next April. So we've got a long way to go and we're nearly there. Water bill is going to get the same. We're going to add five. And I'm going to take out what we have. Add the five. And we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 25. So we've got 125 in here. And we need to get to 260. So I might... I don't know, I may increase the amount I put in here and then, you know, finish off car tax. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, holiday is next. We are going to cross off the next three boxes down here, which comes to 335. We've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30. And here's the five for this one. So that's the 335 going in here. I'm going to add it to what we have. I took out the majority of what was in here last week because as you know if you saw that video this envelope was busting busting so i took out i think 900 pounds put it in the bank added it to what we had in there um and then we now have 100 pounds here and then the 335 here so um we're getting there guys we are getting there the balance in my account is literally the amount that i needed to pay for the hotel so we are done with the hotel i think there's a little bit more in there actually but we're done with the hotel we don't have to worry about that so this is basically spending money now um that i am continuing to save for which is really important to me so i'm definitely going to make sure i fill in all of these squares but we only have one two three four five six seven left for the holiday seven left guys and it will be fully paid off fully done um and i can't 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 wait okay so holiday's done running is next i did run three times this week so i am going to give myself 30 pounds so 10 20 30 goes into our running tracker um and i'm going to take out what we have add the 30 so we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 pounds in here. Again, this is just staying in here for anything to do with running, running related. I haven't really got a goal for this envelope. It's just motivation for me, I think, in doing the running <laughs> and getting out there. So that's done. The last one we have is duty free. I'm not going to be able to cross anything off because I'm not going to be adding a ton of money to this envelope. But I am going to contribute a little bit. I'm going to add 30 pounds to this envelope just to, you know, make myself feel better to add in towards it. So I'm going to add 30 to what we have in here. Obviously, it's not going to be the amount that I need to cross this off, but I'm going to put 30 here. So I know how much money I have added in order to cross this off. So 30 and then whatever I add next week and the week after or whatever. I don't know, but we'll see how we go. But yeah, that is all done for duty free and the rest of my trackers. Okay, last but by no means least, we have our 30K challenge and we are going to do some crossing off guys or try to, should I say. <laughs> so... This week, I do have some cash left over. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I have something at least to contribute, to contribute, to contribute. Jeesh, sorry, Lord. But yeah, to contribute to this 
deposit oh gosh my mouth is just sticking together okay so i'm going to cross off this little one here so do you see it 51 i'm going to cross it off because it was annoying me so i'm going to cross that one off there i'm going to find 51 can put that back i'm going to find 51 it's over here so I'm going to add the 50 to 51 <laughs> and I am going to put this back into here so it can go down this end where all of the other envelopes are that have money in them. So that's done but I'm going to add the one pound to my jar. I'm not going to bother to add it in the other way. Let me take out the cash that I have in here. I really do need to stuff this money in the envelopes, guys. I really have been lazy in not doing that. But I will do it at one point. Um, so I'm going to take out some change. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1. So that's £1. Going in there with the rest of the change. And that can go back in there as well. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, any of the envelopes where I have to add like coins or change to it, I don't add it to these envelopes because I just don't think that they're made for coins at all. So I have a little piggy bank that I add all my change into. Um, but yeah, you can add them to the envelopes if you want and maybe like turn them another way. I don't know. But for me, I just think it's easier to just put all the coins in here and then have the envelopes with notes only in here. But yeah, that is all done. I have stuffed all of my envelopes and yeah, we are done for another week. Okay, guys, so I have come in now. I've stuffed all of my binders. They are all done. But yeah, guys, that is all for now. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my future videos and i'll speak to you in the next one bye guys